need to be in the private. After you read, you go behind. After you read, you go behind. After you read, you ask for Father Peter. Because Father Peter can have other prayers, okay? Once he's done, then you're to follow Satan. Follow Satan.
Etchings Elephant, because of the Lord's covenant and the ancestral law, the saints of God preserved in loving brotherhood, for there was always one spirit in them and one faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And dear brothers and sisters, welcome. And today we are very happy to have kindergarten, first grade, and third grade, and fifth grades, and to come and join us to celebrate this Eucharist. And today our church celebrates St. Joseph, a bishop and martyr. Uh, he lived in the end of the uh, 16th century. Uh, actually, he was an uh, Orthodox uh, Catholic bishop, and, but uh, he won a uh, union with a uh, Roman Catholic. And uh, many people opposed him, and uh, they uh, martyred him. So as we gather together and to celebrate this Eucharist, and we know that we have sinned, we have made mistakes, and we say sorry to Jesus, ask Jesus to forgive us. So we prepare to celebrate this Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Stir up in your church, we pray, O Lord, the spirit that filled St. Joseph as he laid down his life for the sheep, so that through his intercession, we too might strengthen by the same spirit and not be afraid to lay down our life for others. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. All men were by nature foolish, who were ignorance of God, and who from the good things seen did not succeed in knowing him who is, and who from studying the works did not discern an artisan. But either fire or wind or the swift air or the circuit of the stars or the mighty water or the luminaries of heaven, or the governors of the world. They considered gods. Now if joy in their beauty, they thought them gods. Let them know how far more excellent is the Lord than these, for the original source of beauty fashioned them. Or if they struck by their might and energy, let them from these things realize how much more powerful is he who made them. For from the greatness and the beauty of created things, their original author by analogy is seen. But yet for these the blame is less, for they indeed have gone astray, perhaps. That though they seek God and wish to find him, for they search busily among his works, but are distracted by what they see, because the things seen are fair. But again, not even these are pardonable, for if they so far succeed in knowledge, 
that they could speculate about the world. How could they not more quickly find its Lord? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is the heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens, the heavens proclaim, proclaim the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. They poured out the word to day and night to night imparts knowledge. The heavens, the heavens proclaim, proclaim the glory of God. God. Not a word nor discourse whose voice is not heard through all the earth. Their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world, their message. The heavens proclaim the glory of Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the day of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage up to their day. Then Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, as it was in the day of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, and building on the day when the Lot, when Lot left Sodom. Fire and brimstone rained down from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day of the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. Likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot? Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night, there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. And there will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken, and the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is. There also the vultures will gather. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. I have some questions for you. So how often do you have exam in your class? How often? Every day? Not every day. Very often, right? Every week. Do you like an uh, exam? If you like, please raise your hand. Do you like examination? Exam? Test. Do you like test? 
Nobody? Nobody like pears? Oh yeah, some people like it. And uh, who doesn't like it? Oh, a lot of you do not like it. So yes, we have an exam and a test. And because we study, and we have to know if we are doing good or not in the class, right? But uh, you know, sometimes I do like exam when I'm prepared, right? I, I want to show my teacher and my classmate that I'm ready. I have learned, I'm ready to take the test. So it was really joyful to take those tests, right? Then other times, if I'm not ready, I hesitate. And uh, it's coming too soon. Why the test again? So sometimes I do not like test. You know, that's also our life, right? And Jesus asks us also to be ready and uh, to, uh, to really know about uh, our spiritual life. So, um, you know, when Jesus first came, a lot of people also ready, who were ready for Jesus, uh, first, uh, for Jesus' birth at that time? Do we know? Anybody know? Who were ready to welcome Jesus? when Jesus, Jesus came. Who was ready? Anybody shout out your answer? Yeah, just say it. Who was ready when Jesus came? Who? Who? <laughs> I cannot hear you. Yeah. Huh? Oh, Mary, yes. Good answer, very good answer. Mary was fully ready. Huh? Joseph and Mary was fully ready uh, because uh, they had prepared everything, right? And uh, Jesus, when Jesus came, and Jesus, uh, Mary was ready to welcome Jesus. Who else was ready? And also the shepherds, right? When they heard that Jesus came and uh, and they came to worship Jesus Christ, right? They came and adored Jesus Christ. So who was not ready for Jesus when Jesus came? Who was not ready? The innkeeper? The innkeeper? Yeah, they were not ready. And because they said, go away, right? Very good answer. I didn't thought about that. So, very good answer. The key innkeeper says, go away. And the inn is uh, the full. And the innkeeper was not ready for Jesus to come, right? They reject Mary and Joseph and uh, Jesus, baby Jesus Christ. And who else was not ready? Eh? The Romans. Very good, good answer. You know, Roman, the, the king Herod, right? He was not ready because uh, he is uh, very jealous of Jesus. So he was afraid, right? People say uh, Jesus is a king, right? And then they want to reject Jesus. And he wants to kill all the babies and the born under eight, uh, uh, two years, uh, under two, uh, two, two years old. So he was not ready. And because he has hatred, he has jealous. He was afraid of Jesus, so he wanted to kill all the babies, right? So, you know, that's our, our life. And today, Jesus, in the gospel, teaches us be ready, right? And in this pandemic, we know a lot of people suffer, uh, and a lot of people are ready, and uh, they, uh, they can continue their peaceful life, right? Just like each of us, we can continue study. But a lot of people so fierce, and uh, in fear, they do not know how to handle life anymore. So Jesus tells us, and uh, he is always with us. We know also today in the gospel, Jesus says, and uh, he is going to come again. And some people will not be ready for his second coming. So what kind of people do, are not going to be ready for said Jesus' second coming? What kind of people will not be ready for Jesus' second coming? Yes. What kind of, what kind of people? 
Oh, people at the hotel. Yeah. And oh, of course, in the gospel, Jesus says that at the people. He didn't really say the state, an inner state, huh? how they prepare. And as、uh, Jesus says, some people are going to be ready, some people are not, right? But、uh, pre- to prepare is really personal, and、uh, our relationship with Jesus. And、uh, just like when Jesus comes, some people will be afraid because. They are sinful. They do not have pu-、uh, purity in their heart, and they are not ready to welcome Jesus when He comes again, right? But some people are very close to Jesus Christ, just like in this pandemic. I haven't returned home for almost、uh, two, two more years,、uh, two, um, more than two years, right? And、uh, when I go home. And、uh, I'm truly, I will be ready to、uh, see my father, and my father, my、uh, brother and sisters. They, they will be ready to welcome me, right? Because they love me, and I love them, and they're going to welcome、uh, welcome me. But however, if we do not have a good relationship, if we hate each other,、uh, then they're not going to welcome me、uh, into、uh, their homes. But if they love me, they will truly welcome me. So that's how we get ready for Jesus Christ, right? No matter what's going on in the world,、uh, if we love Jesus Christ, we have nothing to be afraid, right? And we will welcome Jesus when He comes again. So Jesus teaches us, and when no matter in our classroom before the test, if we studied very hard. And if we know everything, every answer、uh, in the test, then we are very joyful、uh, taking the test, right? And if we do not prepare, and if we do not any, we do not know anything about the test, or we do not have answer for each question, then we are not ready, right? We are afraid to taking the test. So the same thing,、uh, it is true about our life. And whenever we make a preparation, and、uh, when the things come,、uh, we are ready to welcome、uh, anything coming into our life, and the spiritual life too. And、uh, if we have a good relationship, we if we、uh, are, we are loving people, then、uh, no matter what happened in the world, and、uh, when Jesus come,、uh, we will welcome Jesus, and because we're going to meet Him. So you hear probably older children, and、uh, you hear、uh, sometimes people talk about coming the end of the age and the destruction of the world, and、uh, the second coming of Jesus Christ. We experience a lot of disasters, natural disasters in the world, war and、uh, violence in this world, but we live in this age.、Huh? And、uh, we do not know when Jesus is going to come,、uh, when the world is com- going to come to the end. But、uh, we, as long as we love Jesus Christ, as we long as we become loving people, and、uh, actually second coming of Jesus Christ, just like the first coming of Jesus Christ, it's very joyful. And、uh, because Jesus loves us, and、uh, He came to redeem each of us. And he came, destroy sin and death and hatred. Everything was not good. It's going to be de- destroyed. And Jesus will bring each of us, each of us, to the fullness of life. So, no matter what, we have to be ready, right? In classroom, in our life, and in our spiritual life. So let us come to the Lord. And Jesus asks us to be ready. To celebrate this Eucharist,、uh, to be ready to receive Him in the、U- Eucharist. Some of you going to receive、uh, communion.、Uh, some of you are, n-、uh, are not going to receive communion. But、uh, no matter what,、uh, if you have a heart that desire Jesus Christ come into your life, and、uh, Jesus certainly will come. So pray, open your heart, and pray. And、uh, Jesus come into our life. So one thing 
and one thing that can get us ready to uh, welcome Jesus Christ, and uh, the person is uh, really Jesus Christ. Uh, without Him, we cannot get ready for anything. But with Him, we can be ready for anything, anything that comes into our life. So let us come to the Lord and uh, open our heart. We know it's very difficult sometimes uh, to prepare exam and to prepare the things coming into our life. But we ask Jesus, Lord, please come and help me be prepared and be ready. We have come to uh, Lord's presence, and we may be healed. Let us pray that we may become the instrument of healing and grace to one another and to the whole world. Please stand. We pray for parents and teachers and all who bring God's word to the young, that they may know something of God's compassion and care for his people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray that the sick may know that they are not done alone in their suffering, but to, that they have a share in the passion of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the saint and parish that we may hear Christ speaking in our hearts and live our lives like him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for our families, our friends, and our neighbors, that we may see Christ in one another and love as he loves us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the church scattered throughout the world that it may grow in unity and bring all people to faith in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for the rich nations of the world, that they may use their resources to benefit the developing nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for our classmate Ralph and his family for the loss of his grandfather. May they find comfort knowing that he is in heaven, looking down on them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also pray for Clifford Reed, and today uh, he celebrates birthday. May God's uh, grace and blessing continue shower upon him. Let us pray to the Lord. And you know, November, we remember all those people passed away and we pray for all the deceased. And t today, we especially pray for Father Rafael de Avila. Um, for them, let us pray to the Lord. Now, I invite each of you offer a special prayer to our Lord in your heart. For all the prayers in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Grace and loving God, we thank you for your love and for the faith you give it to us. We offer all our prayers and all our needs before you. May you hear them and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let's see. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For praise and glory of God's name, and for Most merciful God, pour out your blessing upon these offerings, and confirm in us the faith that St. Joseph had professed by shedding of his blood, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed mother, St. Joseph, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Salvatore our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Father Raphael and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day of daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and glory. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
the body.
Let us pray. May this heavenly table, O Lord, bestow on us a spirit of fortitude and peace, so that following St. Joseph's example, we may willingly spend our lives working for the honor and unity of the Church, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. A mass is ended. Go in peace. I'm so happy to see each of you, and thank you for your participating in the Mass. And have a blessed day. Thank you.